What is the exact difference between copywriting and content writing? How to become a successful copywriter? Learn ABC to XYZ of copywriting from someone who has more than 25 years of experience in this industry. He has worked with brands like IKEA, Toyota and many big brands all over the world. And I have asked many such interesting questions on your behalf. So sit back, relax, close all the tabs and enjoy this value pack episode. All right, guys, I have someone with me who needs no introduction. His experience speaks for itself. Mr. Santesh, how are you? I'm fine. I'm fine, Vedant. Uh, good afternoon to you from Dubai. I think you're in India. So <laughs> yeah. really gracious of you to call me for this uh, podcast and uh, be looking forward to it. So, and yeah, I mean, people call me Shanti. So you're most welcome to call me Shanti. I, uh, that's what everyone knows me as. Though, of course, on LinkedIn, you don't call yourself that, but uh, <laughs> Shanti, Shanti is fine, absolutely. Yeah. Yes. First of all, it's my honor to have you here, Shanti. It's, <laughs> thank you. <laughs> my pleasure and uh, my honor as well. Thank you so much, Vivian. Really appreciate it. Yes. So, uh, uh, to straight jump into the question, first, uh, I wanted to know about uh, your journey into this world of copywriting and advertising plus Correct. tell us in that journey about the evolution you saw into right. this whole uh, advertising and copywriting world okay so to put things in perspective i am very old <laughs> in the sense i'm close to 50 now um, okay. and i started uh, my journey as learning commerce so i was a bcom graduate and i mm -hmm. did my chartered accountancy by the side um, and uh, as I was finishing my CA uh, final exam, I realized that I was not cut out for accountancy. I just okay. hated it. Um, in fact, I got a job with Standard Chartered when I graduated as an officer in a bank. Mm. Um, and my entire family is from the banking sector. Uh, my mom, my dad, my sister, my brother-in-laws, my uncles, cousins, everyone. So I woke up one day and I said, I hate this job. I just cannot do it. Um, at that time, I got introduced into uh, journalism, actually. I started mm -hmm. my journey in journalism. So I was interested in writing from school and college. Uh, so I was always part of uh, debates and elocutions and quizzes and writing and stuff like that, creative pursuits, basically. Mm -hmm. Mm -hmm. So there was this magazine called uh, Jam, which was just another magazine. It was a very popular college magazine in the late 90s in India, uh, okay. based in Bombay. And uh, I joined them as a writer, as a creative writer first. And this was in the year 97, 98, I think. Mm -hmm. And that's where I did a year with them, learned journalism, uh, learned uh, how to edit, how to write, how to have fun with movies, music. That was my job. And all of a sudden, I, got a, uh, I met somebody from the advertising field who I knew. Uh, I had no idea what advertising is at that point in time. Uh, zero idea. Okay. And I met this individual, a uh, very senior individual in advertising. He's no longer, you know, he's passed away sadly. Um, Mr. Govind Sajnani is a very, very well-known name in the 70s and the 80s in Indian advertising. Mm -hmm. So he used to be my neighbor. And um, uh, I just offhand met him one evening and he asked me what I'm doing. And I said, I, I, I'm in, in writing. And he says, is this advertising? I said, no. And he said, why don't you try in advertising? And uh, he put me on to my first agency, which was an agency called Raka Advertising, uh, which was headed by a very senior person, Mr. Dara Asidwala. And uh, I got in as a copywriter, copy trainee writer there. Okay. And uh, never looked back after that. I mean, I have, uh, I complete close to about 25 years now in the industry. So it's, it's a long, long journey for me. Uh, worked oh. in many agencies in Bombay. I, I think about four agencies in Bombay and mm -hmm. I've done, done about three agencies in Dubai, two agencies actually in Dubai. And mm -hmm. then now the third one is my own venture. So uh, wow. that's been the long and short of the journey. Very long journey. So yes. evolution, if you want to ask me evolution, I, I came in at a time in the 90s where um, you know people were still doing cut paste. So they, 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 you know, you, today you, everything is done electronically, right? Everything is done digitally. Yeah. Uh, but when, when I started, there weren't many computers being used. There was no internet 
there was hardly any internet at that time mm-hmm. Mm-hmm. so everything used to be physically drawn and physically you know your your, let, your letters used to be cut and put and sprayed and pasted so i've been from that sort of an era right up to today where we're doing social media posts 20 posts a day sometimes <laughs> um so seen it all in 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 the sense of the evolution of course i mean there are much more senior people than me in the industry who are still working uh including my ex bosses and uh, i have a lot of regard for for them as well because they have adapted and they it's been a long it, it, it's been a process of adaptation so okay. uh when i joined in the 90s it was still press which was main the mm-hmm. main source of advertising so your times yes. of india your your regional newspapers uh th- they used to be the major uh, uh, advertising uh, you know spends used to happen uh, mm-hmm. television took up took up in maybe in the mid 90s is when star plus and you know your sony mm-hmm. ac came up and there was a lot more advertising in television towards the late 90s mm-hmm. um and those used to be your major advertising media so there was radio there was outdoor uh television and press in late and 90s yeah i mean it late 90s even maybe to the mid 2000s is is, is, is how i see it uh but then of course once social media has taken off in the last like at least 7 8 years uh, mm-hmm. a lot more a lot more of the media spend is happening digitally these days yes uh, but in the last year we are seeing a turn back to traditional media so people are coming back to television people are coming back to uh, you know spending on press so there's a little little bit of a come back to the traditional media but it's a it's a it's a it's a vast i mean it's a huge amount of things that i've seen over 25 years so to encapsulate that into a short uh, passage is really difficult i'll try my level best though yeah so that's how so, it's been. okay and superb so uh, you told us about this that little come back from yeah. social media to digital media why right. why is the reason like why you think no not from not from social to digital but social to traditional traditional um, okay yeah so see what's happened is um, social media is of course nobody's going to take it away i mean at the yes. end of the day instagram is instagram facebook is facebook, facebook uh, linkedin yeah. is linkedin people will keep spending on it because the world has moved on to a mobile phone right traditionally all youngsters are or the gen z is on their mobiles all the time uh, so you will have uh, uh, that going on but what's happened in the in the last year or so at least uh, now that the pandemic is slot sort of going down a little bit is that people are finding uh, a lot of disruption in in the way statistics and analytics are coming out of social media there's a lot of lot of uh, disbelief in some of what is happening brands aren't seeing the correct amount of results you know they're not being given the right picture sometimes and mm-hmm. uh, there's too much of it also you know to be honest because okay. you, you look at your instagram feed today you're just scrolling 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 just scrolling scrolling yes. right uh, yes. in fact linkedin which used to be not a scrolling medium at one time even yeah. linkedin has become like instagram today you're literally just scrolling past right and you're only yeah. stopping at people who you read or respect or 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 follow so yes. uh, you are seeing a lot more people getting back to television um, mm. and uh, you know ipl is back for example so there was a lot more spending during ipl so with more uh, television led events happening i think uh, uh, there will be a certain surge back to traditional media i'm not too sure about print right now print is is still see print still works mm-hmm. in certain categories it's, i mean people who read the times of india will read the times of india yeah but uh, and again the the, the the money is still being set spent by uh gen z and uh, sorry by but by, by the millennials and gen z right so uh, sorry gen x rather gen so x. gen z is still you know still figuring things out they're still getting into the the work fold they still get so they have opinions yes uh they can definitely change a lot of opinion but they're still not at a at a, uh, a sort of tipping point of changing economy in that sense mm. so the the spending is still being done by the slightly too older generations and i think till that happens the television and the press will still hold its uh, whatever little hold it has but interesting times i'm not an expert on media i i am as much a learner and a follower of what ha- what happens in media and i feel it it will keep it will keep changing um things will come like clubhouse for example like two years yeah. back ev- everyone was on clubhouse people thought that you know oh that's the future That and nobody even talks nobody talks about it today right yeah. so um so these things are are very cyclical i think three or four major platforms will survive like meta survive. will survive 
uh, Insta will survive, LinkedIn will survive. They will change a little bit in terms of their avatars and their the way they 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 disseminate content or they make content Correct. come to you as creators. Yeah. Uh, but television is still uh, going to be there. I have an interesting one. See, you know, like when I was growing up, um, ra- radio used to be always in the background, right? So yes. we, 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 I mean, there was Akashwani, of course, and there was all that. But we had a lot of these FM channels which came on when I was young. So you had Times FM and you had uh, Radio Mirchi and you had, you know, Midday, Radio Midday and all that. And we used to mm. keep, I, I, as a youngster, I used to keep my radio on all the time, uh, either on a Walkman or on my cassette player. And mm-hmm. uh, today, television has become radio. So what's happened is you yeah. are actually doing your work on your mobile. You are you are looking through your bo- mails. You are doing your WhatsApp. You are doing your Instagram, Facebook, LinkedIn. Everything is on your mobile. And Arnab Goswami is playing like radio in the background. You know, <laughs> so yes. you have television on, which is television is the new radio actually. So you yes. will only look at you. You will only look at television if something happens. Ah, breaking news. Ha! Ah, then you will turn to the television. Yeah, mm. wicket, wicket gaya, ha, chalo, wicket gaya. Yeah, six mara to wicket, yeah. You know, yeah. Nobody's yeah, nobody's really focused on television hundred yes. percent. But television is playing. And because yes. TV prices are low and te- televisions generally, you know, most most families today have two televisions. Most family families. There's yeah. there's one a big a bigger one which is in your living room, and then you'll have a smaller one maybe tucked in your one of the bedrooms, right? So yeah. most houses I've seen this whenever I go, television is on, there's something going on in the background. And but everyone's on their mobile. mobile. So for me, television is the new radio today. All all it is doing is you're hearing somebody say the news or somebody saying the commentary or somebody, you know, talking about share market prices or whatever. And something catches your attention. Okay, you look at it. You know, uh, but otherwise you're back to your mobile or your iPad or whatever gadget is that is that you're using. So it's an interesting shift from the way shift. we're consuming media. Yeah. So yeah. the only tele only television media which people really watch. Uh, full time is either when you're watching OTT like Netflix, or if you're watching a cricket match, which will possibly hold your attention. That also a 2020. I don't think a test match is going to hold your attention anymore. So <sighs> there's a vast change in the way people are consuming media. Consuming the way is coming, media. yeah, coming to them, and that is the challenge for any advert. How do you yeah. grab an eyeball which is so fickle? It's a so fickle, fickle eyeball. Yes, yeah. you know. So uh, like. I, I don't remember the exact statistics, but I've, I've read it somewhere that you're looking at close to about 9,000 pieces of communication every day. You know, 9,000 different messages every day mm. or a single day. Now, there is no way you will, you you know, try remembering what you ate for breakfast yesterday. You will not. Yes. You know, so how, how would you remember so many messages from your friends, from your colleagues, from your immediate network and then on top of the advertisers you know yes. so you can imagine the circles around you the circles of mm. information right mm-hmm. so it it is it is getting difficult to retain uh, a viewership or retain uh, you know sort of followership or some kind of pattern in the way people are looking at mm. consumption and it's it's all good i feel I, I i my opinion is good because it is democratic at the end of the day yeah um you know, the most important part about uh, this is that you like when I was growing up, it was only Doodashan, right? And it was only mm. two channels of Doodashan. So whatever Doodashan was showing was what I could consume. Um, yes. Today, consumption is in your hands. So you mm. can have the remote to the television, you have the remote to the Netflix, you have your own, uh, you can detox from Instagram for a week. You know, you can detox from whatever social media you want. You can unfollow whoever you want. So I, I have a feeling this is more democratic for sure, but it's also more confusing for sure because it yes. is like your who to follow, what who to, to follow. Yes. Yeah. What what too to much information. And then too much information. So pros and cons, pros and cons, yes. as they say. Yes. Uh, yeah. But tough, tough for advertisers to uh, plan and to figure out where these audiences are, what is exciting them, uh, because a trend comes, a trend goes. You know, today yeah. trends are trends are faster than water, so they come and go. So. It's it's a it's a different mix being in creative right now. I mean, I, I empathize yes. with the younger generation. I really do. Yeah. I think you guys have to work much harder than uh, uh, than we did ever. Though that not that we worked less, but uh, we we had a little more time and focus. I felt in in the way we would approach creative. Yes, because right now the way we are consuming content is uh, like 
we have multiple focus points and we have to yeah. focus on multiple things and that is not possible you know to be honest right. that is not possible you can focus on one thing at a time and we, we, our focus is continuously fluctuating as you said All on the tv All then the on phone on tv and then on Correct. phone so Correct. that is crazy and that is where the problem starts actually the attention yeah. is the new currency as we say and it Absolutely. is actually Absolutely. And also, also at the end of the day, what democracy has done is it is that everyone's a content creator today, right? Yeah. So yes. that is the second part of it, wherein, you know, you had uh, what is called centralized content, right? So mm. it would be the Doodashan deciding the content or Star deciding the content. Then it became YouTube deciding the content. Today, pretty much, there are so many different ways for a content creator to come out there, right? Come out so there. You, you, right. So in, in the, and, and there are so many varied content creators. So, yes. uh, you know, people who are writers, writers, or artists, artists, or singers, or sometimes they're a combination of everything, mm. um, you know, and everyone, I mean, whether, whether you're into travel, or whether you're into food, or whether you're into, like, what you're doing with podcasts, and podcasts and, you know, so there, there is a real uh, fight for attention that is happening right now, in, in terms of, uh, you know, who do I... Uh, follow and what do I read follow but follow, yes. but in in my case I always believe that you should follow the people that or the things that uh, add value uh, uh-huh. the other things are just about staying you know abreast of what's happening abreast so yes you, you, yeah you should have a small circle where you get value most value of what you're doing in your life from mm. you know mm. and the others are one more circle where you just about allow a little more of that that uh, information to come into you your life third circle which is actually not necessary which is you know all the other circles around you so <laughs> this is the way yeah. I, I at least I deal with it because otherwise in a 24 hour cycle you're killing yourself you're not going to do justice yeah. with your work or with anyone else's uh, work as well so uh, yes. that's how I deal with it of course different people have different uh, processes but yeah, yeah you can ask me more Vedantya. <laughs> <laughs> I mean that was really insightful because uh obviously we have to work really hard to get that attention yeah, yeah, yeah. without a doubt without a doubt yes okay so moving into the next question uh, i wanted to ask a totally different uh, side of question like let's take an example of someone who is completely a newbie into the world of right. copywriting and he wants to be a copywriter right so what would you suggest to him yeah, see, this is a, uh, it's a very tricky question to answer. And I try to answer it in two different ways. Sure. Um, when I joined uh, the, the field of media as a copywriter, uh, there were pure advertising agencies, which means that there were advertising agencies, which were doing advertising, advertising, whether it was for television, press, outdoor, radio, whatever. Okay. Uh, today you have content writing, which is also a separate uh, animal of its own, right? Yeah. So I, 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 you know, people say they're content writers or content creators or whatever. Now there is a very distinct difference between content and copy. Um, okay. In in my opinion, and and of course, the different people have different opinions. I'm more of a classical uh, writer, copywriter. So in my humble opinion, I would put it that content is 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 long form mainly. You know, content is more for education. Content is okay. more about descri- description, whereas copy is more about selling more about marketing a product properly using words and using the science of marketing and and emotion very well so for me Mm. if you want to be a copywriter today in today's scenario right um you really ideally should work for an agency now this agency could be a pure agency like for example Mm -hmm. ogilvy or it could be a hybrid agency which does a little bit of the pure mainline advertising and a little bit of social or digital or it could be a purely digital agency but uh, what has happened and what I feel is that a lot of, because of this great resignation that's happened and, you know, a lot of people are freelancing today, a lot of people are working from home. Um, again, democracy, you know, it, it, it is a democracy yeah. after all. You're, you're free to choose your, uh, what you want to do. And that's good. Yes. That you, can, you can do it. It's good. Yeah. You don't necessarily need to work for a company or for an organization anymore, which is good. Uh, but you also lack mentorship. You lack mm. a little bit of the, the training that is needed. Um, yes. See, Cricket jab khelte ho na, Tendulkar bhi hai, usko Achrekar chahiye. He huh. needed a coach like Achrekar to find out what is his strength and weakness opportunity threat. Right? His Correct. Yes. And he needed that, though Achrekar never played for India, okay, but he has, he, as a coach, he understood people's games. 
right games. so it's very important for copywriters to ideally have a mentor who can work with them hand in hand like when i joined uh, mm-hmm. there was a hierarchy so there was a trainee copywriter uski upar there used to be a you know a, a senior copywriter then uski upar there used to be a copy group head then on top of that used to be an associate creative director copy and then there used to be a creative director copy and then an executive creative director copy oh. okay so there was a proper sort of a, almost like a you know like a how army has a private uh. colonel or a major there was there used to be a chain of command yes and the yes. reason there was a chain of command is because the uh, immediate senior would be in charge of you mm-hmm. uh, so if you were just joined you would have somebody maybe 4 years 5 years ahead of you in the business who would be in charge of you mm. and um you would learn they would actually really sit with you they would go yes. through your ideas they would make sure that what you're writing is correct what you're writing is selling uh what you're writing is is correct in terms of grammar in terms of the way you're saying it the the punch you know is there a better way to write this sentence so that you get a better punch uh sometimes you should not write at all sometimes you do work with an art director i think a lot okay. of people in in you know people forget that copywriting is not an individual job you are part of a team there's a designer there uh sometimes yeah. designer visual idea track karta hai aur aapko copy likhna bhi nahi padta hai usme you oh. know so yeah so there are different mediums for example you writing for television copy is different writing for press copy is different writing for radio is completely different because radio you got to literally say something in 30 seconds and out right uh, only using sound yes. so uh, you you need to understand what to do when there's no visual to fall back on so mm. all these things don't come very easily unless you are trained uh, see because what you need as a writer is is obviously talent uh, a command of the language to a certain extent imagination to a large extent and ability to understand what is it that you are selling agar aap gaadi ki advertising kar rahe ho to gaadi mein usp kya hai what is that you, the insight of that usp hmm. how do you take this insight and appeal to a consumer what is the emotional bridge that you have to build and how do you build it in terms of copy so okay. for example if samsung says samsung used to use a line you know next is what now if you ask me grammatically that's wrong right because what is next but yes. a copywriter takes those liberties the like, copywriter bolta hai yaar next is what karenge na to maza aayega isme isme ek uh-huh. ek thoda fun aata hai you know humko binis mangta humko ye nahi mangta humko wo nahi mangta now this you don't you don't see it in real life but you you mm. you see it in advertising a lot you know yes so uh, that bit of uh, understanding of the craft of you know because art sabke paas hota hai जो भी नया बंदा भी आता है जो भी पुराना बंदा भी होता है ये इंडस्ट्री में उसके पास आर्ट होता है टैलेंट होता है बट वॉट मेक्स यू ग्रो इन दिस फील्ड इज द क्राफ्टिंग सो इट इज समी कैन टेक यू एंड से दैट शांटी लिसन अच्छा लिखा है लेकिन ये इस नजरिए से देखो इसको एक अलग अलग एंगल से देखो या ये सेंटेंस ना बहुत लंबा हो रहा है इसको बहुत खींच रहा है इसमें मजा नहीं आ रहा है थोड़ा इसको यू नो पंची कर लो या ये कंप्लीटली गलत लिखे हो आप यू नो इट्स इट्स नॉट रीडिंग वेल इट ऑल Or, or can we approach it with a different emotion? You're using humor. Can we say this with fear, for example? So, or can we say this with uh, a, a dramatic impact, for example? Or uh, you know, sometimes very beautifully, you write a script for television, right? The director sees it and he actually cuts your dialogues out because he says, "Yar, I'll show one scene. I'll show you. 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 so sometimes you write a script and you are already seeing ha ye ye banda ye bolne wala hai ye bandi wo bolne wali hai and mm. the director comes on the table and he says why do you even need this dialogue yeah, i am just going to say it through the eyes of the person who's acting you oh. know kisi ko agar dukh ho raha hai aur wo uski aankhon mein se hi dukh nikla nikla to aapki jo dialogue thi script mein jo bol raha hai are tu ro kyu raha hai it's not necessary anymore <laughs> yeah right so these are things that you learn in your journey as a writer that how do you ah. craft जो बोलना है ना कभी कभी वो बोलने की जरूरत भी नहीं पड़ती एज अ राइटर सो लेस इज मोर एज दे से किस प्रिंसिपल विच इज कीप इट सिंपल स्टूप इट यू नो इट इज इट्स अ वेरी सिंपल कॉपी राइटिंग इज नॉट इंटेलेक्चुअल राइटिंग कॉपी राइटिंग में आप शो ऑफ नहीं कर रहे मुझे बहुत लोग बोलते हैं कॉपी राइटर शो ऑफ यानी आप वो आप लैंग्वेज झाड़ रहे हो नहीं 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 लैंग्वेज नहीं झाड़ रहे हम लोग हम लोग कंज्यूमर की भाषा कंज्यूमर को अट्रैक्ट करने को बोल रहे हैं हम लोग अगर हम लैंग्वेज की तरफ बहुत इफ यू आर ट्राइंग टू मेक इट टू इंटेलेक्चुअल नो इट इट विल नॉट अट्रैक्ट कंज्यूमर करेक्ट सो कॉपी राइटिंग इज सिंपल राइटिंग टोल्ड विद इमोशन व्हिच विल टच समथिंग इन समबडीज हार्ट अबाउट अ प्रोडक्ट और अ सर्विस 
it is not ki mere ko shashi tharur banna hai and i have no disrespect to mr tharur i yeah. i don't have to be knowing my dictionary and my english vocabulary i need to know dil se dil ko kaise baat karte hai bas agar wo do shabd mein bola jaye to acha wo 20 shabd lage to 20 shabd bol do i love aapko i love you hi bolna hai na enemy aapko nahi bolna hai ki yaar main tumhara chand sa roshan chehra ye zulfo ka rang wo wo gaane mein hota hai wo gaane mein hota hai gaane mein enemy mudde ki baat kya hai ki meri meri mera ye product hai mera ye usp hai product ka या तो मेरी गाड़ी हंड्रेड किलोमीटर पर आ रहे या स्टाइलिश है या तो मेरा फर्नीचर आपको आपके घर को चार चांद लगा देगा दैट इज द इमोशन यू हैव टू डील विद सो कॉपी राइटिंग इज टू एनी न्यू बी हुज ज्वाइनिंग डोंट गेट कंफ्यूज अबाउट कॉपी राइटिंग कॉपी राइटिंग इज नॉट कॉम्प्लिकेटेड राइटिंग कॉपी राइटिंग इज हार्ट टू हार्ट राइटिंग वेन सिंपल है ना वेन अ चाइल्ड वॉन्ट्स टू गेट अ लॉलीपॉप और अ चॉकलेट फ्रॉम हिज और हर फादर क्या करता है बच्चा रोता है ना वो हंस के नहीं जाएगा बाप के बस के मेरे को चॉकलेट दो बोले मेरे को चॉकलेट दो भाषा समझ में आती दैट इज कॉपी सो ग्रेट कॉपी राइटिंग इज आप सीधे मुद्दे पे आते हो या सीधे ये है उसमें कभी कभी 200 वर्ड भी लगते हैं कभी कभी दो वर्ड भी लगते हैं लेकिन मुद्दा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है मुद्दा इंपॉर्टेंट होता है इसमें ये आप आप वो मुद्दे पे कैसे कौन से आर्ग्यूमेंट पे आ रहे हो आप कैसे आ रहे हो कैसे एंगल से आ रहे हो Hmm. अगर आप नो स्मोकिंग ऐड कर रहे हो और आपको स्मोकर्स को अट्रैक्ट करना है कि यार स्मोकिंग नहीं कर रहे तो कौन सी उनके कौन से नब्स पे आप हाथ रख रहे हो कहाँ पे कौन से हाउ एज अक्टर डॉक्टर डज इट वेर इज द पल्स वॉट इज द स्मोकर गेटिंग अफेक्टेड बाई इज इट द कॉस्ट ऑफ द स्मोकिंग इज इट हिज हेल्थ इज इट हिज फैमिलीज फ्यूचर इज इट कैंसर इज इट हार्ट अटैक इज इट जस्ट सेंग दैट यू नो वाई वाई आर यू बिन डूइंग इट फॉर एग्जाम्पल now different appeals are there in this right you can go in any angle yes any angle but copywriter copywriting is about removing the most effective angle at least trying to you can you know trying to remove the most effective angle wo aap agar karo aur simplified bhasha mein karo agar usme twist lana hai to twist lao ya to maza karna hai to maze se lao like airtel did na her friend zaruri hota hai ha you know abhi usme kya tha basically wo log ne bola ki mobile a mobile connection is like your friend he will all he like a friend is always there with you right our yes. mobile phones are always there with you hum hum hamare dost ki tarah hai aapke dost ki tarah hai so mm. it is a very it is simple copywriting should simple. be simple right? simple aap wo uh, uh, teen cheeze hai isme for any person entering one your ability to tell a story and yeah. i'm not saying story means aapko story writing karni hai ability to tell a story about a brand आपको पता था कि आपको दस मिनट लगते हैं सोने में राइट वो दस मिनट में आपको कैसे सुनाए दैट वॉज द ऑब्जेक्टिव कि आप yes. ख्यालों में जाओ ना आप, आपकी दादी या नानी जो भी थी वो बोलती थी यार व्हाट वाज़ ऑब्जेक्टिव नॉट टू जस्ट टू 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 टेल यू 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 स्टोरी पुट स्लीप मेक मेक गो स्लीप यस योर आईज देन क्लोज योर आईज अब नानी दादी का जबरदस्त स्टोरी सो जाते थे ना तो ऑब्जेक्टिव कॉपी राइटर का वही होता है कि आप क्या करना चाहते हो अपने कंज्यूमर के साथ do you want him to buy the product do you want him to feel good about the product do you want him to have an emotion about the product and convey the emotion in the most simple manner simple and don't get confused yeah so i was saying like you know copywriting simple hona chahiye it is just a question of telling the story and connecting mm-hmm. that bridge between the consumer and the product or the service product to utni simplicity agar rahi na to achhi hai aur ek content aur copy mein confusion bahut lag raha hai mujhe abhi bahut Oh. Uh, I don't know how to even. I try and answer everyone who I who asks me this question on LinkedIn, uh, yeah. but I still feel there is a lot more confusion amongst people. Uh, simple end me kya hai na ki copy content hai content copy nahi hai. So oh. itna me itne tak hi rakhunga isko because me agar aur explain karne gaya na aur confusion hoga dimag mein logon ke. Okay, so all copy is content, but all content is not copy. and copy. mostly copywriters can do copywriting as well as content writing 
but i find content writers not necessarily being able to do copywriting so because mm. copywriting mein thoda zyada usme science hai there is a little more of technique in it and it does require some amount of training in a proper agency you need to understand marketing you need to understand uh design you need to understand there are a lot of people in an agency besides copywriters jo ek planner hota hai jo plan karta hai ki ye ye strategy kya honi chahiye uh, there's yeah. a strategy person there is a accounts person as they call it there is a design uh, team there are a lot of people that who are part of a of an advertising mix you know you need to know how to work with a photographer you need to know how to work with a filmmaker um because they will help tell your stories better आपको फोटोग्राफी करनी है आपकी कैंपेन के लिए इवन एज अ राइटर यू नीड टू अंडरस्टैंड एंड राइटिंग स्टार्ट्स इज सेकेंडरी फर्स्ट इज द आइडिया आइडिया क्या क्या आइडिया क्रैक करें हम लोग कैसे कंज्यूमर को कौन सी आइडिया के साथ जाएं हम उसके बाद ही शब्द आते हैं विजुअल्स आते हैं वो सब आता है तो लॉट ऑफ पीपल थिंक दैट कॉपी राइटिंग बोलेगा तो हाँ आप लिख रहे हो लिख रहे हो लिख रहे हो ऐसा नहीं है लिखने के पहले सोच होती है सोच के पहले आप को स्ट्रेटजी होती है कंज्यूमर तक पहुंचना पड़ता है कौन से कौन से रास्ते से जाएं हम ये hmm. फिर वो रास्ते पे क्या कहना है वो कॉपी राइटिंग होता है बराबर बट yes. पहले आपको रास्ता रास्ता डिटरमिन करना पड़ता है वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इट इज अ लॉर्ड ऑफ टीम वर्क वेरी रेयरली डू यू वर्क सॉलिटरी इन कॉपी देर आर फिलेंस कॉपी राइट इज वर्क सॉलिटरी बट यू रिक्वायर लिटिल बिट ऑफ एक्सपीरियंस टू बी एबल टू डू दैट when you're yeah. starting out my advice is always work for an agency work with a yeah. team team understand first two three years aapko sirf lagenge ki marketing seekhne mein lagenge aapko yes kya marketing hoti hai kya products hote hain kya positioning hota hai kya purpose hota hai kya usp hota hai ye sab jargon lagte hain humko but wo jargon ko naturally aap seekh lete hain ki kya hota hai uske hmm. baad hi aap ek ek certain aapka tone of voice hota hai writer ki tarah hmm. wo tone yes. of voice develop karne ke liye do teen saal lagte hain aapko ek andar se ko jo हर हर राइटर का एक स्टाइल होता है यस yes, अभी आप, आप आप लिरिक्स भी देखो ना गुलजार साहब का एक स्टाइल है लिखने का स्टाइल uh, जा, जावेद अख्तर जी का एक स्टाइल है लिखने का uh, तो वो दोनों कभी कभी लगता है कि सिमिलर लिखते हैं लेकिन नहीं उनका एक एक तकिया कलाम होता है वो तो एवरी कॉपी राइटर ऑल्सो है आपके सर्कमस्टेंसेज आपके जो तजुर्बे हैं लाइफ में Uh, आपकी जो शख्सियत है एज अ पर्सन उसमें से उभर के आती है तो hmm. वो एक फिंगरप्रिंट की तरह रहती है यू नो इट इट इज योर फिंगरप्रिंट एंड दैट फिंगरप्रिंट हैज कम आउट ऑफ योर एक्सपीरियंसेस योर अंडरस्टैंडिंग योर इमेजिनेशन एंड इट इज वेरी यूनिक समटाइम्स सो यू नो इट द मोर यू समी इज देयर टू सर्ट ऑफ आपको एक पॉटर की तरह ना वो वो आप एक क्ले को शेप कर सकता है एक अच्छा राइटर yeah. आपका बॉस जो है या जो भी है आजकल बॉस इज नॉट अ गुड वर्ड बट आपका जो सीनियर मेंटर हो या जो भी टॉर्मेंटोर ज्यादा हो गया है आजकल टॉर्मेंटोर बहुत हो गया है बट मेंटोर अगर हो कोई अच्छा जो आपके क्ले को लेके वो शेप कर सकता है ना तो दो तीन साल बाद आपकी जो जब आपकी एक एक पॉट बनेगी ना पॉट उसी हिसाब से सो आई थिंक दैट इज इम्पोर्टेंट फॉर यू नो दिस लिंगडन थिंग अबाउट दिस हासिल कि सब जल्दी yeah. करना है यार छे no, छे no, महीने no. में सिक्स फिगर कमाना है ये करना है वो आई आई डोंट लाइक दैट यू नो दैट हसल कर यस यस टाइम टाइम दे दो अब हुनर है इट्स अ स्किल हर हुनर को टाइम लगता है यू नो करेक्ट इफ यू रीड माइकल माइक माइक आउटलायर ही सेज 10000 आवर्स यू नीड टू गिव एवरीथिंग यू नो सो लाइक मैल्कम ग्लैडवेल सेज नो द हजार घंटे का एक टाइम होता है किसी को अच्छा बनने के लिए यू यू नीड टू गिव टेन थाउजेंड आवर्स टू एनी प्रोफेशन टू बी इवन गुड एट इट सो वेदर इट्स अ क्रिकेट मैच और वेदर इट इज अ पेंटर और वेदर इट इज अ शेफ यू नो यू नीड टू गिव दैट टाइम लेकिन हम लोग ये हसल कल्चर में पड़ गए हैं अभी कि छह महीने में इतना होना चाहिए आठ महीने में उतना होना चाहिए एक साल में जल्दी करना है एंड वो भी टाइम बाउंडेशन एक्चुअली बर्न आउट दिंग बर्न आउट आप वो रॉकेट की तरह आप निकल जाओगे स्काई में और फिर बर्स्ट हो जाओगे yes. उससे अच्छा कि आप स्लोली स्टडीली गिव इट थ्री ईयर्स फर्स्ट थ्री ईयर्स लर्न uh it's a long career as a writer writer actually writer ko na there is no retirement age for a writer 
if you look yeah. at it yes yes there can not. be writing up to 90 if you're so you're functional devanan sir nabbe ke uh, age mein films likhte the aur direct karte right. hmm wohi shiddat aur wohi energy jo unko 20 saal pe thi wo nabbe pe bhi thi kyun unhone burnout nahi kiya apne aap ko unhone apna jo skill tha wo kaim rakha jo learning tha kaim rakha jo hunger tha kaim rakha hmm. he was not that i need to make one film every year and make it a 100 crore film no no he was like i will make it i will i will understand what my process is what my journey is and i will go through that journey yes so wohi iska hota hai wohi wohi hota hai ki aap time de do as a youngster don't be in this rush mad rush which you see people you know aaj yeah. maine do 10 leads today 25 leads yeah. tomorrow oh i did six figure oh i did this oh yaar okay theek hai yaar tune kar liya yaar badi baat nahi hai ha lekin aap ko 10 saal kar paoge kya क्या आप पंद्रह साल कर पाओगे क्या क्या आप बीस साल कर पाओगे क्या क्या आप रेलिवेंट रहोगे रेलिवेंट आपको पहले बोलना पड़ता है कि मैं एक्सपर्ट नहीं हूँ मैं लर्नर हूँ यहाँ पे मैं क्या सीख सकता हूँ मैं ये यंगस्टर से क्या सीख सकता हूँ मैं वो स्लाइटली एक्सपीरियंस बंदे से क्या सीख सकता हूँ यू नो ये मैंने मैंने गलत किया मैं एडमिट करता हूँ वो एक एडमिशन होना चाहिए कि यार गलती हो गई मेरे से यार जितना भी एक्सपीरियंस बंदा हो गलती करता है या भी जीरो पे आउट होता है ना फर्स्ट बॉल पे कभी कभी yes. उसका मतलब नहीं कि उसे दस हजार रन नहीं बनाए yes. तो लेकिन वो एडमिशन होना चाहिए कि यार ठीक है गलती होती है हम ह्यूमन है कोई सुपर कोई यार आयन मैन सुपर मैन उनसे भी गलती होती है ना सुपर हीरो they are also grappling with their fears and their uh, uh, they have gray areas to them na gray shades to them yes yes so aise nahi ki superman aur yeah. batman pehle shot se sabko maar rahe wo maar ke fir apna albert ko jaake rota hai yaar albert kya kiya maine life mein to to aisa hai na to aapka bhi ek albert dhoondo ka aapka bhi ek q dhoondo jaise james bond ke paas q and m hai they are giving him the weapons you yes. need to you know james bond is only as good as his aston martin at the end of the day no or his yeah. pen which who is giving him that so yes. you are as good as your team you are as good as what you learn you are as good as what your own limits are limits but aapko wo limit itni jaldi nahi aata hai uske liye ek marathon hota hai it's not a 100 meter sprint correct um, you know even even usain bolt says this when you see usain bolt's interviews he said i run only 10 seconds but i have run miles of 10 seconds to reach that last 10 seconds Yes. Right. He has yes. done marathons of hundred meter sprints to reach the Olympics ka final. Hmm. So, वो एक 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 particular एक एक कहावत है कि आप आप जितनी शिद्दत से करोगे ना काम उतनी आपको मुद्दत भी लगती है. Wow. तो शिद्दत और मुद्दत का game है ये. Means your शिद्दत for somebody who doesn't speak Hindi it means you know your your perseverance or your dedication or your commitment. And मुद्दत is time. So, आपको एक्सपीरियंस और टाइम दोनों देने पड़ते हैं इसमें फिर आप एक प्रॉपरली वेल राउंडेड क्रिएटिव या जो भी हो कोई भी फील्ड हो आई नॉट ऑफ ओनली क्रिएटिव आपको अच्छा बैंकर भी बनना है आपको अच्छा शेफ भी बनना है आपको कुछ भी करना है लाइफ में शिद्दत और मुद्दत का गेम है आप शिद्दत से करो और उसको मुद्दत दे दो उसको एक टाइम दे दो टाइम दे दो बोथ इफ यू रश नो इफ यू रश योर एक्सपीरियंस एंड इफ यू रश योर टाइम यू विल फॉल इन इन अ वेरी डिफिकल्ट ट्रैप and those people are the ones who don't survive they are the ones who will have great talent but wo log survive nahi kabhi kabhi media ka talent se survive ho jata yes kyunki wo media ka talent ko pata hai apna limit kya hai limit kya hai yes clarity you know? clarity uh, awareness it's not clarity. that for you are so good at talent ki aap survive ho jaoge aisa nahi hai aap ek chhakka maar doge lekin fir aap nahi tik paoge usme wo game nahi tik paoge Mm-hmm. Right, so it, I'm using a lot of cricket analogy because it's easy to understand, you know, cricket yes. analogy. Yes, absolutely. Yeah. yeah. आपको आप decide करो आपको क्या करना है. T20 खेलना है तो T20 की तरह खेलो. हाँ हाँ. Test के लिए आप ready हो तो चेतेश्वर पुजारा बनना है तो बनो पुजारा. लेकिन आप अपने हिसाब से बनो. Don't become, uh, you know, Suryo Kumar Yadav because you want to become Suryo Kumar Yadav. He is he is Suryo Kumar Yadav because he can hit the ball. Pujara yes. cannot become Yadav. Pujara yeah. knows his limit. which is why he's good with this or dravid was great with this no he yeah. knew the limit so play the game as per the pitch and play the game as per your skill 
आपको दो वक्त की रोटी मिल रही है राइटिंग विल गिव यू अट इन लाइफ बिसाइड मनी रिमेम्बर दैट Hmm. it will it will give you an understanding of human beings it will give you a lot more perseverance it will give you a lot of strength writing mein strength hoti hai strength aapko andar kabhi kabhi jhaag ke dekhna padta hai aapko dard it's a poetic way of saying it but aapko dard nikalna padta hai kabhi kabhi hmm hmm not is easy because you will make lot of mistakes in campaigns you will have campaigns where aapko samajh bhi nahi aa raha kya karna hai aap paisa bhi lagate ho campaign pe wo flop bhi ho jayega campaign bada आप अगले दिन उठोगे कैसे इट्स लाइक हाउ अ बॉक्सर गेट्स अप आफ्टर फॉलोइंग डाउन दैट इज ऑल द गेम इज यस राइट वन कैंपेन इज नॉट यू 10 कैंपेन्स इज नॉट यू 100 कैंपेन्स इज नॉट यू यस व्हाट इज वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट इज जब आप एक मुकाम पे आप आ जाओगे व्हेयर यू विल सिट इन फ्रंट ऑफ द क्लाइंट एंड द क्लाइंट विल से आई बिलीव यू आई आई हैव माय आई कैन टेक अ रिस्क ऑन यू जब आप वो एट दैट लेवल यू रीच ना व्हेयर द क्लाइंट सेज आई कैन टेक अ रिस्क ऑन यू यू हैव अराइव्ड समवेयर इन लाइफ some hmm. little bit you have arrived in life till then don't don't even just keep your head down and work work yes so because you are you are not an individual you are it's the client who matters it's the brand that matters it's matters. the consumer not you not aap you. aoge yeah. aoge but, you know, so that is that is that is my limited advice to uh, young writers who want to get into the field okay simple uh, authenticity ki baat karte hai bahut log na linkedin pe me ko uh-huh. work वर्ड थोड़ा इनऑथेंटिक लगता है वर्ड इट इज नॉट इज नॉट इज नॉट इट इज अ लैक ऑफ नॉट नॉट इवन अ लैक अ कंप्लीट अंडरस्टैंडिंग ऑफ अवेयरनेस ऑफ योर सेल्फ आप अपने बारे में अवेयर हो ना एक एक सर्टेन लेवल पे कि आप कहां पे हो एज अ राइटर और एज अ पर्सन देन ओनली यू विल फाइंड अ सर्टेन अमाउंट ऑफ क्लैरिटी इन योर राइटिंग गंदी सी कैड आई है ठीक है वो मैं उसके बारे में जिक्र नहीं करूंगा जो कल परसों से हो रहा है बट आई एम सिंग एडवर्टाइजिंग आप बोल रहे हो ना कि दात साफ हो रहे हैं आप बोल रहे हो फेयर एंड लवली है ऐसा नहीं की आप क्लेम्स कर रहे हो ना एंड क्लेम्स कर रहे हो या ऐसा नहीं कि मैं दूध में धुला हुआ गंगा नहाया हुआ ऐसा नहीं है मैं आई आई डोंट टू एवर से दैट बिकॉज़ आई एम इन अ फील्ड व्हिच सेल्स ड्रीम्स ड्रीम्स इट सेल्स एस्पिरेशंस कभी-कभी वो एस्पिरेशन सेल करने को आपको सफेद झूठ बोलने पड़ते हैं या तो वो झूठ को थोड़ा ट्विस्ट करना पड़ता है ट्विस्ट करना पड़ता है फैक्ट को ट्विस्ट करना पड़ता है ऑथेंटिसिटी की बात नहीं ऑथेंटिसिटी की बात नहीं बात है अवेयरनेस की आप किस लेवल तक सेल्फ अवेयर हो कि आप जो कर रहे हो वो बेहतर किसी सी एवरी प्रोडक्ट at the end of the day why it should succeed is because there are there is employment linked to that product yes right? if somebody is making something at a scale which needs advertising it means oh mass produced item correct mass produce agar wo mass produced item hai it means it is employing so many people yeah so it is for the for the creative also that the product should succeed because product agar succeed hogi uska matlab nahi ki aap succeed hoge उसके पीछे कितने लोग हैं जो काम करते हैं जिसकी एम्प्लॉयमेंट है जेनरेट हो रही है mm-hmm. वो सक्सेड हो रहे हैं ना आपने अगर प्रॉपर सेल किया प्रोडक्ट को yes. तो वो पूरा जो फैक्ट्री जहाँ पे चीज चीजें बन रही है वो पूरा डिस्ट्रीब्यूशन नेटवर्क वो पूरा सेल्स नेटवर्क वो पूरा एंटायर इको सिस्टम इज सेलिंग बिकॉज इज गेटिंग सस्टेनेबल सो यू हैव अ वेरी इंपॉर्टेंट जॉब इट इज नॉट इट इज नॉट कि आप सिर्फ अच्छे एक्टर्स के साथ काम कर रहे हो या बड़े बड़े इट ग्लैमर ठीक है यार ग्लैमर बोलते हैं ग्लैमर है ऐसा नहीं कि नहीं है ग्लैमर hmm. है कुछ ग्लैमर इसमें बट yeah. हार्डवर्क बहुत है इसमें और वो hmm. आप अगर क्लैरिफाई करो ना अपने दिमाग में कि मैं एंड में आई एम जस्ट अ राइटर आई एम नॉट गॉड राइटिंग इज अ वेरी वेरी सिंपल एक्सरसाइज इफ यू डू इट सिंपली विदाउट कॉजिंग योर सेल्फ एनी इशूज यू विल लास्ट अ लॉन्ग टाइम इन दिस करियर द मोमेंट यू गेट इन टू योर इगो सिस्टम नॉट योर इको सिस्टम इन टू योर इगो सिस्टम इसमें फर्क है 
Hmm. Keep hmm. your ecosystem away from your ecosystem. There are two parts to this. Ecosystem is what? Ecosystem is your learning, who you work with, how you work with them, and what kind of a human being you are. That is very important. Ecosystem is only you, where you believe ah, it's only me. You. Ah. Ah, Then ah, you will ah. you will not serve. If yes. you put an ecosystem above your ecosystem, you will not serve. You have to have an ecosystem very very important behind you. Your clients are important. your team is important the the people your brands you work for are important if that is your your focus you will succeed in this field so yeah. that is again a limited <laughs> i know limited limited bol ke 10 minute baat kar raha hu lekin come on it's important right <laughs> yes sir go on go on yes. you can ask me yeah so you uh, told us something about uh that authenticity and why people are hyping it hustle culture and to be honest even i don't believe in this you know Correct. and uh <clears throat> isse ek same cheez uh, correlated hai that is people talk about creative block i'm not able yeah. to create content idea or i'm not able to write i'm not able to deliver the client what they want so called Correct. creative block so right. what do you think why it appears and how we can get out of it i i am pretty sure you also face creative block yeah, somewhere or the absolutely. other see uh, everyone will face a creative block hmm. okay because creative is your your struggle is with a blank blank piece of paper agar aap likh rahe ho to aapke paas kitab hai jo khali hai agar aap type kar rahe ho to screen hai jo khali hai ek word yeah. document hai right to aap ek khali pan se aap usko fill kar rahe ho Hmm. उसमें वेरिएबल्स भी बहुत है क्योंकि एक एक डेडलाइन होता है एक ब्रीफ होता है hmm. एक बजट होता है एक एक्सपेक्टेशन होता है सो देर लॉट ऑफ वेरिएबल्स राइट क्लाइंट हैज गिवन यू अ ब्रीफ देर इज अ प्रॉब्लम दैट नीड्स टू बी सॉल्व्ड अ मार्केटिंग चैलेंज देर इज अ लिमिटेड टाइम टू सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन देर इज लिमिटेड बजट टू सोल्व द प्रॉब्लम इन देर आर देर आर वेरिएबल्स ऑफ अंडरस्टैंडिंग द ब्रीफ एंड बिगेस्ट प्रॉब्लम इज यू यू विल यू हैव टू you might have a bad day for example or right. you might be having a fight with someone and it is hitting your head or yeah. you might be having a financial issue or koi uh, ill health mein hai aapke ghar mein ya aap khud mentally ill ho ya aap khud koi pressure mein ho ya stress mein ho to aapko kabhi kabhi aap fully aware bhi ho lekin aap stuck ho you're very happy you have seen a movie you had great food you gone out with your friends you had a good time and you come back and no ideas वो भी हो जाता है सो एक एक अवेयरनेस मैंने जो बोला पहले कि सेल्फ अवेयरनेस बहुत इंपॉर्टेंट है सो बी अवेयर दैट यू विल हिट अ क्रिएटिव ब्लॉक सम पीपल हिट अ क्रिएटिव ब्लॉक एवरी डे सम पीपल मे बी वंस अ वीक मे बी सम वंस अ मंथ बट इट विल कम इट विल हैपन सो फर्स्ट थिंग दैट यू डू इज जो मैं करता हूं ना आई ऑलवेज टेल माय सेल्फ दैट व्हाट्स द वर्स्ट अगर मैं मैं क्या होगा अगर मैं ब्लॉक हो गया तो हम्म तो मैं क्लाइंट को बोलूंगा सर मेरा नहीं हो रहा है सिंपल है राइट व्हाई शुड आई क्लाइंट्स अंडरस्टैंड क्लाइंट्स आल्सो नो क्या होता है लॉट ऑफ पीपल गेट स्केयर्ड लॉट ऑफ द यंगस्टर्स नो लोग डर जाते हैं यार क्लाइंट ओ मैन ओ डेडलाइन ओ मैन ओ बाबा बॉस ये वॉर नहीं है वॉर नहीं है ये वॉर नहीं है ये ये आप अगर विद विद अवेयरनेस इफ यू टेल द क्लाइंट लिसन आई नीड 1 डे मोर और 2 डेज मोर or a little two hours more every client will give you the time hmm. hum log kya karte hain na hum log wo inertia mein jaate hain hum log deadline dikhte hain and then we procrastinate and yes. then oh deadline nazdik 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 aa raha hai and then you're saying oh shit kuch nahi hua maine kuch nahi kiya maine yaar ab tak and then yeah. last minute ko aap karte jaate ho fir aap fas jaate ho so i think the the way to get out of creative block is one be very clear and firm that you will get a creative block except or a write or a writer's block accept it hmm. if you are very close to a deadline and you're facing it speak to the client or speak to your team or speak to whoever it is that is in charge of you or your your delivery and tell them very clearly i need x number of hours more to deliver 99 yeah. times they will say please thank you for telling us please take this time hum log woh dar that we don't even ask that question you know lot of people hmm. they that hmm. woh client aap mai baap hai वो वो ये जॉब से निकाल देगा मेरे को ऐसा नहीं होता है सर ऐसा नहीं होता है क्लाइंट्स भी ह्यूमन होते हैं उनको भी पता है और ऐसा कोई कैंपेन नहीं है जो आज ही चाहिए लाइफ में ऐसा कुछ नहीं है 
हाँ ठीक है आईपीएल का कैंपेन है आईपीएल का फर्स्ट गेम है तो आपको करना पड़ेगा लाइव इवेंट है लेकिन ऐसा नहीं है कि डेडलाइन मूव नहीं हो सकता डेडलाइन मूव हो सकता है सो फर्स्ट एंड फॉरमोस्ट बी रियलिस्टिक नाउ हाउ डू यू ओवरकम अ ब्लॉक दैट इज अकेंड पार्ट द बेस्ट थिंग टू डू दिस वॉट आई ऑलवेज डू ना आई गो टू अकेंड जॉब I okay. I do two jobs at one time. I always keep two jobs. कभी कभी मैं ये जॉब में अटका ना मैं वो दूसरा जॉब शुरू कर देता हूँ आई स्टार्ट अकेंड जॉब लाइक बिकॉज इट टेक्स मी ऑफ द चैलेंज ऑफ दिस जॉब एंड स्विच इज मी ऑन टू समथिंग एल्स एंड इन दैट स्विच ऑन नो आई एक्ट बैक ऑफ माई हेड आई एम वर्किंग ऑन द फर्स्ट ब्रीफ ऑलरेडी एंड वहां पर क्लिक हो जाते हैं कुछ समथिंग आई कैन ओनली स्पीक फॉर माई सेल्फ लॉट ऑफ पीपल आई नो हू डू इट ऑल्सो they 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 switch off they they work between two jobs and it gets clicked the other job which was problematic for them they click because of this job that is one way of doing it another way of doing it is just completely move away from what you are doing and do something else hmm picture picture dekh lo aapke paas pet hai pet ke sath khel lo aapki girlfriend hai girlfriend ke sath bahar jao yaar chopati jao hmm get some fresh air don't sit at home sometimes go take a walk बालकनी अगर कोविड है तो बालकनी में बैठ हवा खाओ थोड़ी और ठंड रखो ये ये जो है ना ये इसको ठंडा रखो बिकॉज़ ये अगर ठंडा रहा यू विल बी एबल टू गेट अ गुड आइडिया आप मटन नहीं पका रहे हो आप कॉफी लिख रहे हो मटन पकाना है ठीक है यार आप जाओ गैस पे बैठो बट आप कॉपी लिख रहे हो कॉपी के लिए टाइम लगता है क्रिएटिव टेक्स इट्स ओन टाइम and the fourth most important thing which i feel for a creative block is there is no creative block there is no creative block it is a personal block that you have this is what oh, i feel okay hum log creative block ko blame karte hain ki yaar writers block hai creative nahi 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 writing bahut aasan hai aapke paas idea bhi hai lekin hmm. aap lazy ho aap ya to bahut lazy ho rahe ho ya to aap easy le rahe ho usko तो कर देंगे यार यू नो आई फील दैट व्हेन यू गेट अ ब्रीफ नो ट्राई एंड डू इट इन द फर्स्ट वन व्हेन यू आर फ्रेश या ओके मोस्ट मोस्ट टाइम्स क्या होता है अगर आप इफ यू लुक बैक नो योर फर्स्ट आईडिया इज द आईडिया व्हिच विल हैव गॉन थ्रू जो पहला आईडिया आता है ना कभी-कभी आप आप एनालाइज करो आपने 10 साल काम किया होगा ना आपने जितने आईडियाज किए ना व्हाटएवर आईडियाज यू हैव डन यू ट्राई एंड सी मोस्ट ऑफ द टाइम्स द फर्स्ट थॉट दैट केम टू यू विल बी द आईडिया व्हिच वेंट थ्रू not the fourth hmm. or the fifth thing what what this means is not that your brain sometimes na is actually tuned to get the idea very soon so okay. if you can crack the brief in the first half an hour to one hour you're done then there is no reason of a block 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 happens why you know because you are filling time you are procrastinating you are being lazy aap so jaoge aap kuch dusra karoge aap bole ya theek hai yaar ho jayega 10 minute mein Why waste nine and a half hours thinking? Oh God, yar, kya kar raha hu main? Yar, you creative, ho, ho, ho. Aisa nahi hota hai. Plan kar lo, jao aage yar. Aapke paas fir no ghante free hai life mein. Kuch karne ke liye. Or ek job le lo. Yeah. 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 Free din hai. Aap kuch karo usme. So my thing is, don't take yourself too seriously. Be self-aware. Have a rhythm. Have a rhythm. Okay. You, you know when you have a like, बोलते हैं ना body clock होता है. It's a body clock, right? Have a body clock. there will be days where you fail let it be fail those days uh what, what what's going to happen here no, no, you're not sit, standing on the borders no yeah aap aap, aap army mein border pe nahi khade people who stand on the borders they are sweating every day because they sweat less bolte hai na jo those who sweat less in battle bleed less in war so, so they are, i understand if somebody standing at siach in every day you're not at siach and yeah it is not a war don't take yourself so seriously mm yeah you right you are in a great position man you're a creative person aapko paisa mil raha hai creative banne ke liye aapko paisa mil raha hai maza lene ke liye aapko paisa mil raha hai joke bolne ke liye aapko paisa mil raha hai ek acha chitra banane ke liye 
what better job can you ask for where it is free for you you you, you it's your mind you can even convince a client sir ji ye ye barabar hai aapke liye ye idea client bolega aapko you know even if it fails aap aap fir bhi convince kar sakte ho client ko na kaun se job mein aur ye aise aapko freedom milega hai so so don't take yourself so seriously you know yes it's a it's a great field to be in whether it's writing copywriting content creative Mm. you are your own, and today with the world be technologies and your own content creator no excuse today yes. go and have go and have fun don't be this oh, oh pehle 60 70s mein hota tha na jhola wala jo bolte the na jhola leke wo apna dard leke writers <laughs> jaate market mein <laughs> yeah ek ek, ek 60 70s ka wo ek wo ek character tha na ki wo jhola wala journalist hota hai you know fate chappal pehn ke वो घूम रहा है yeah. अपने दर, yes. दर्द को लेके कवरिंग स्टोरीज यार वो वो नहीं है यार वो वो एक रोमांटिक मोशन होती है राइटिंग की yeah. वो हम खुद को गालिब ये कर देते हैं ना खुद को ये करने के लिए इट्स नॉट दैट आर स्ट्रेस इज वेरी लिमिटेड कंपेयर टू व्हाट राइटर्स प्रीवियसली यूज्ड टू गो टू टुडे यू हैव टेक्नोलॉजी यू वांट टू रिसर्च एनीथिंग इट इज इट इज अवेलेबल वन YouTube वीडियो यू विल नो बैंग ऑन या वन Ten sources of information you can find out. आप yes. copy भी कर सकते हो, आप उसको rephrase भी कर सकते हो, आपको पता भी नहीं चलेगा लोगों को यार. Huh. Right? Unless they run a run a check through it, right? Yes, There are so yes. many clients who don't even know that they can run a check on copy. You know that? They don't even know कि आप आप plagiarism के लिए निकाल सकते हो plagiarism कहाँ से हो रही है करके. Yes. Don't don't misuse it. I'm not advocating the misuse of. <laughs> I'm just saying that don't be so stressed about Stress. content creation. Content creation is everywhere. Yeah, you can do whatever you want as long as you are happy with it. So that right. is it. खुश रहो यार क्या है मजा है life में यार writing के लिए पैसे मिल रहे हैं यार बहुत अच्छा है ठीक है आपको किसी पांच पैसे कम मिल रहे हो पर word के लेकिन पैसे तो मिल रहे हैं ना you don't have to go to an office and work nine to five and kill yourself. Yes, yes. So that's a great advantage and you're getting yeah. the, you're you're doing something which you it's a skill you're getting paid for skill. Yeah. Right. You're not getting paid for hard labor. आपको मेहनत मजदूरी नहीं कर रही है आपको पत्थर नहीं तोड़ने आपको सिर पे वो लात के यहाँ पे वहां पर नहीं लेके जाना है आपको सिर्फ एक एसी कमरे में बैठ के आपको कंप्यूटर ऑन करना है लैपटॉप ऑन करना है साइड पे यूट्यूब लगा दो म्यूजिक लगा दो और फिर बोल रहे हो मैं स्ट्रेस क्यों आ रही कैसा स्ट्रेस है यार चाय आ रहे हैं पकौड़े आ रहे हैं समोसे आ रहे हैं यूट्यूब ऑन है और आपको स्ट्रेस हो रही है यार ये ऐसे स्ट्रेसफुल लाइफ सबको दे यार जिंदगी में Right, so don't 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 take yourself too seriously. <laughs> yes, it's a okay. it's a great opportunity. Take that opportunity with your hands. You will go through bad days, mm-hmm. but don't let the bad days say, "Oh, create a block." Yeah. Create a block. होता है. होता है. सब को सब को. Hmm hmm hmm. Deal deal with it. Like you deal with the cold. No, deal with it. Hmm. Just बुखार बुखार होती है कभी कभी आदमी को. बड़े बड़े sportsmen को भी होती है बुखार. Fit fit आदमी को होती है. करेक्ट तो ऐसे नहीं कि मैं फिट नहीं अभी Uh, yeah. slant agency tell right. us about uh, how the system works how you founded it and how it's going right now so see i worked almost like 18 years for different people uh, you know khud ki mm-hmm. different different agencies so 2015 is when i actually decided to take a break from advertising i was uh, 40 yeah. at that time and uh, i had worked for almost about uh, you know uh, pretty much around 17 18 years at that time and i was a little tired of of advertising so i went to the us i took a break for about 2 3 months mm-hmm. and uh, when i came back i said i don't want to work for somebody else me ko khud ke liye karna hai kuch i did not have any startup or anything of that in mind mm-hmm. i just said let me start i had no clients and i started a company i said shuru kar dete hain and from there uh, it's 7 years um survived uh, we are a very small team 
फोर फाइव पीपल सिक्स पीपल मैक्स दुबई में अलग है बिकॉज दुबई इज स्लाइटली मोर डिफिकल्ट टू गेट पीपल बिकॉज द रूल्स आर स्लाइटली मोर डिफिकल्ट यू नीड टू हैव सर्टन अमाउंट ऑफ बिजनेस टू हायर एक्सेट्रा एक्सेट्रा नॉट एज ईजी से डूइंग बिजनेस इन इंडिया बट माई job essentially is that i am not into it for working with too many clients hmm. i work with very limited clients and i do work that i am happy with uh because i am not in this for money or for you know running around matha fodi i want to work with select clients i want to give them a value of of what i bring to the table so i look at it more as a consultancy than an advertising agency okay it's, it's a like yeah it's more of a of a one to one consultants okay so that is how i approached it and um i don't work that much as i used to maine main bahut hi select kaam karta hu aajkal i i literally pick and choose what i want to do and i'm okay. happy with it that way i prefer it that way because i get a lot more time for my other pers- other creative pursuits mm-hmm. you know i'm 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 writing a book for example right now i'm oh my time is going on that Uh, okay. I I'm on, I'm on LinkedIn quite aggressively. I'm teaching yes. a lot now these days, so I I do a lot of courses with younger writers. Uh, okay. I want to do something formal in the teaching arena. Maybe go to a college and actually teach advertising. Uh, so I have various things that are keeping me occupied besides work. Besides, but work अगर हो तो of course वो जो मैं बोला शिद्दत और मुद्दत तो देता हूँ. That is your you know it is your your karma and your dharma to do that. Yeah. Uh, but it is not something that is uh, killing me every day let me put it that if it comes okay. to a point where i'm very stressed with work i tend to switch off i tend to take lesser work mm nice uh, i would rather take lesser work and be do good work than take too much work and kill myself in the process just because usme paisa hai ya jo bhi hai so i i prefer it you know, that way these days okay so it's in, it's been an interesting learning because you know you you learn business Uh, mm-hmm. so advertising is a business at the end of the day i did not have that though i was heading teams and i was uh, you know uh, in charge of creative and a lot of big teams and all that the business hat is a different hat to wear so you you know how to then project yourself in front of clients you know you understand where to make money where to let go of money how to work with talent um how to even lose money sometimes Yes. You know, where, 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 as a salaried person, you're only looking at a salary, right? Yeah, pe you are seeing every day, a galle ki tarah. But, आपको कभी-कभी हारना पड़ता है पैसा ऐसे, just to keep the relationship going. It's all about relationships at the end of the day. So mm. you take a risk sometimes for your client. You know, you do okay. a goodwill for your client. ये it cannot be measured in terms of money. It can only be measured in terms of um, mm. what is it that you bring to the table. So for me, it's been a very interesting. last seven years very interesting journey uh maybe the journey will change i i have no idea <laughs> i i am very fluid in the way i i approach things so okay. mai kabhi ek fixed direction mein jata nahi hu i i do i have stayed seven years in business i tomorrow i might get up and do something completely different so wow. <laughs> i am ready for i am very aware as i say i am very self aware of what i am. nice so that is how it is right now <laughs> okay i mean you know you what really moved you to this i wanted to ask what really moved you like from being uh, and, moved me get to advertising no 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 uh, get into starting your own venture uh i i don't have an answer honestly i i don't have a specific answer to this okay i think it is age because what happens is you i touch 40 and i felt that you know maine jo dusron ke liye achieve karna tha achieve kar liya i have done enough and more you know i have played that team game well it like it's time i start i have my own game to play you know so it was more from a selfish point of view let me put it this way कि यार दूसरों के लिए बहुत खेल लिए अभी खुद के लिए खेल के देखता हूँ एंड दैट इज वेयर वेयर दैट दैट पुश केम फ्रॉम द वर्क इज द सेम वर्क इज वर्क में कुछ फर्क नहीं पड़ा फॉर अदर एजेंसीव गेम इट स्टिल राइटिंग इट्स कंसेप्चुअलाइजिंग क्रिएटिंग द ओनली डिफरेंस इज इफ आई डू कॉल इट इज दैट आई द रिस्क इज ऑल माइंड एंड द रिवॉर्ड इज ऑल्सो 
to a large extent also so it 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 is a different kick you get you know aapki success or aapki failure aapki mutti mein whereas in other hmm. agencies it is your you are dependent on so many other things right here you know that it is your horse aapko ghoda aapko rukana hai to rukao usko khana khilana hai to khilao usko sulana hai to sulao Hmm. so that is where i feel i, I feel happier that working that right okay. that you know work for somebody else but who knows tomorrow i might go back to an agency and work for an agency yeah. if if somebody hire me still i don't think they'll hire me anymore but <laughs> in in case they do <laughs> okay <laughs> i have no problem back to this agency and work yeah but nice. call alag hai mera see like i said i'm close to 50 now so my my uh my reflexes are slower and i'm being very honest you know there is there is a creative uh, journey which is also age related so pehle jaisa itna dimag chalta nahi kabhi kabhi it takes time it, it i okay. i'm much more uh, uh, clear sometimes that i do want to do this spontaneity mm. thodi kam kam ho jati you mm. tend to look at things in a more measured man mm. you mm. know so I I have realized there is a rhythm and मेरा जो rhythm है एक certain अलग rhythm पे चल रहा है आजकल physically mentally so I I know that you know या उतना ही दौड़ना है मुझे उससे ज़्यादा दौड़ूँगा तो गिर जाऊँ हाँ हाँ वो पहले वो वो exuberance of youth नहीं है youth में क्या आता है आज चल यार जाओ यार चार campaign लेके आओ यार it's like you know चार रोटियाँ और लाओ यार खाने के लिए ऐसे you know अभी <laughs> so it's more a consultancy role at this time okay okay and it's nice, nice because i i get to i get to work with the ceos and cxos on a personal level uh you know and i i i also consult them not just on advertising i consult them on marketing i consult them on strategy um i consult them sometimes on uh interiors for example which i would not have done previously hmm. so there is a lot more there is more to me as a writer today than i mm-hmm. was Ten years back, so mm-hmm. I'm I'm more of a conceptualizer than a writer these days, mm. um, which is interesting trip on its on its own. So that that is yeah. where my game is. अभी वो कैरम का गेम अलग चल रहा है. Nice. So वैसे. Yeah. Okay. Okay. So uh, now let's move to the last section. Sure. Uh, that is uh, straight away taking questions from people, and you have to answer it under hundred seconds. Okay. Done. Each question. Okay. Right? Yeah. Each okay. questions. All, all so, questions under hundred. No, no, no. Each. Ah. Like I will ask one okay. question, then you have to. Okay. Cool. Cool. Done. Okay. So Ria Rajput asks, "How do you manage your full time profession and ruling on LinkedIn?" you reply and react to each and every comments which is below your post what keeps you grounded uh linkedin is my straight away channel to talk to people i mm-hmm. love that response which i get from people and i always respond in the first immediately as soon as there's a message to me or a, a comment to me like i said agar yes. aap when you have time don't keep it waiting do it immediately so even if i'm unless i'm really traveling or i'm busy in a job i will make sure i respond to everyone and i i like the response because i feel that's your direct connect yeah and it is it's a professional platform on a professional platform it's incumbent for you to be professional so agar, even if you don't want even if you want to say something rude to somebody because somebody has irritated you by just a hi hello in the dm but make sure you write back and say yaar hi ke aage bhi kuch bolo yaar main kabhi kabhi likh deta hu ग्रेट 
it's a great platform i i love being on the platform and getting direct interaction with people so i want to do justice to it simple as that nice nice okay moving on to the next question yeah. from itisha jain she asks okay. how does he find inspiration for writing so many copies uh tough and easy question the tough part is i don't know uh, <laughs> the, the easy part is i know okay <laughs> so the easy part is yeah you i find my inspiration from anything i i i am very observant i am very curious um uh, mm-hmm. my first creative director told me something very nice uh, she said that think like a child and evaluate like an adult okay to jab aap sochte ho na to bacche ki tarah sochu बच्चा सोचता नहीं कि कॉन्सिक्वेंस क्या होने वाला है वो सिर्फ सोचता है एडल्ट hmm. जो है वो सोचता है कॉन्सिक्वेंस क्या होता है करेक्ट सो फॉर मी व्हेन आई लुक एट इंस्पिरेशन एंड आइडियाज आई आइडिएट लाइक अ चाइल्ड आई एम वेरी चाइल्ड लाइक वेरी इनोसेंट वेरी बच्चा मैं जी खोल के सोचता हूँ उसके hmm. बाद जितने आइडियाज आते हैं ना मैं इवेल्युएट करता हूँ फिर आई वेर माई एडल्ट कैप ऐसे हाँ दिस इज इंटरेस्टिंग बट वोट वर्क दिस इज गुड बट कुड बी बेटर so hmm. inspiration agar find out karna hai the easiest way is don't stop inspiration be a hmm. be a receiver receive karo inspiration jitna aap okay. apna khula rakhoge na dimag aapko inspiration aayega inspiration ka problem wohi hota hai ki log dimag band kar dete hain they start thinking band kar dete hain yeah kuch input aa gaya na they start thinking let all the inputs come let you be inspired then you evaluate what you want to do later evaluate like an adult later so again i i find it it's natural it comes naturally to me i don't need to try hard um, what i do hard is the crafting that i do a little spend more time on mm. but actual ideation i just let it flow it's like it just flows that's the best way i feel to work yeah perfect nice so yeah uh, this was it i had two questions oh. and i have a few many questions from you <laughs> so <laughs> yes i uh, always available any time there's no problem that way uh, like i said you know see my journey i i like to say that my journey is not an extraordinary journey let me say yesterday when you said king of copywriting yaar mere se bahut diggaj log nikle bahut mere mere main itne logon ki ka aabhari hu na honestly in my life mm. i have seen some great writers and i know the quality of writing in india you know it's immense and i see a lot more quality today in the youngsters but what i'm seeing is thoda impatience in youngsters you mm. know i i feel that it impatience is something if if they can control that part ki mm. jald mein jald jald bazi nahi mat karo bazi khelo lekin jald bazi mat karo wah bazi hai na bazi khelo lekin jald bazi mat karo usme because it is important it your it is your skill that is important and be humble always always give credit to people who have taught you always hmm. share information always aapka jitna bhi limited knowledge hona aap share karo and ye do hai aur ye ek hai proportion mein use karo bhagwan ne kaan do diye hain muh ek diya hai na proportion mein use karo suno do bar baat karo ek bar that's wow. it life is simple life is simple like that so hmm. my journey is not extraordinary i am not an extraordinary writer i am not an extraordinary creator but i have worked hard and i have learned and i have shared what i could and i have tried to be a good human being simple as that whoever i worked with i have always tried to give back to them bhale mujhe kuch return bhi nahi mila usme because i am i am i'm the firm believer that i am in a in a field which i could have been in banking and i hated every day of it like i told you yeah lekin maza nahi hota this is more fun for me so it's a blessing to be ek ban ke ek boon hoti hai ek den hoti hai agar aap creator ho use I that agree. blessing and that boon and you know don't make it a shrap aap apne blessing ko curse mein convert mat kar right so wo ek 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 bahut hi kam logon ko wo talent deta hai bhagwan ki aap communication hmm. mein jao aap writing writer bano ya designer bano ya artist bano ya jo bhi hai singer bano ऐसा नहीं कि हर कोई लता मंगेशकर बनेगा नहीं होता है no. लेकिन yes. आप अपने हिसाब से गा सकते हो आप अपनी माँ के लिए गाओगे वो हंसेगी ना वो भी बड़ी बात होती है बड़ी बात होती है 
आप अपना लेवल फाइंड करते रहो कहा भी आ जाता है उन्हें फिलोसफी ज्यादा बहुत झाड़ रहा हूँ आजकल हो गया हूँ लेकिन फिलोसफी फिलोसफी से ज्यादा आई थिंक एक एक देर अ ट्रूथ टू इट यू नो देर इज अटल बिट ऑफ रियालिटी टू इट एंड दैट रियालिटी इज नो अदर फील्ड विल गिव यू दिस मच सेटिस्फेक्शन आई कैन टेल यू विद ऑल ऑल द ह्यूमिलिटी एट माई कमांड you are in a very unique position with the kind of technology today with the kind of uh, ed- tools you have at your disposal today and look at us not we have not met and we are speaking like this today yeah kahan possible ek raipur mein baitha hai banda ek dubai mein baitha hai banda 25 saal ka umar ka fasla hai dono ke beech mein aur hum log advertising ki baat kar rahe hain so isn't that beautiful that itself says a lot about where we are today as a world right so i think that is the more important thing find your purpose find your passion and most importantly find your awareness be very self aware that's how it is yeah. okay perfect ending note <laughs> thank you so much vedan thank you i uh, really appreciate this yeah, thank you i'm i'm very honored to have you and thank you so much for doing this i am pretty sure this will help a lot of people to first calm down calm down yeah, yeah. <laughs> don't run for leads hustle culture this that so thank you yeah, so yeah. much for joining santi i'm very honored to have you thank you so much no no it's been a it's been a pleasure vedant i know that a little bit of a blip in between but thank you so much no I appreciate you time out on a sunday and doing this as well and uh, yeah look forward to this uh, hopefully reaching people and to whatever extent it can inspire them hopefully it will perfect we will try our best thank you yeah thank you thank you you have a lovely evening ahead yeah Thank you. Thanks.